When it comes to your toolbars and your menus, this is the multidiscipline menu. That means that if I go to my application on the left hand side and I click on draw, it will give me my most commonly used commands. So if I go to draw at the top and I go to lines, you will see that all my line commands displays there. If you maybe installed the classic menu, then this is how your classic menu will look like. On the left hand side, you've got your lines and you've got your curves, construction lines, etc. So we're going to make use of the multidiscipline menu. Now, as you can see, first of all, on the left hand side, it displays a text and picture for my icons. I can right click and I can ask Gary to change it to text only. I can right click, I can ask Gary for pictures only, or I can have it set to text and pictures. And the same is applicable to the commands. I can right click, I can ask Gary text only, pictures only, or text and pictures. If you close one of the dialogues, in other words, I'm going to close my application. I'm going to close my commands, reactivate it by going to view at the top, and we go down, and as you can see, there's my applications and my commands. As you can see, there's no text, so I'm going to reactivate my application, go back to my view, and activate my commands. On the right hand side, we've got our object properties. If for some reason you close your object properties by mistake, at the bottom in your status bar, you will see this option that says show hide properties. So if I left click, there's my object properties pack. The same as the one next to it is my catalog. So if I left click, it shows my catalog. I can switch off my catalog. At the top is what we've called toolbars. Now as soon as you move your pointer over the command, you will see and you get to the start of it, you will see that you will get a cross. That means that now I can reposition it or move my toolbar. So if I'm going to left click, you will see that it will be attached to your pointer. And now I can dock it either on the right hand side, it can be a floating toolbar, I can dock it at the bottom, and I can dock it on the left hand side. So if you close the toolbar, by mistake, as you can see this one is called 3D Views, I'm going to close the toolbar, and I would like to get it active again, I can just go to View at the top, and I go down and I can reactivate my 3D Views. So left click, and I can drag it where I want to dock it. Now to create your own personal toolbar, you're going to right click where there is no toolbar yet, and we go down to Customize. In this dialog, as you can see, it displays the toolbars on the left hand side, so we're going to say New. So as soon as I say New, I can give it a name, I'm going to call it Caddy, and you're not limited to one toolbar only, you can create as many toolbars as you like. So as soon as I'm going to say OK, have a look and see what's going to happen in the top left hand side. It's going to create a blank toolbar, so I'm going to take my pointer, left click, and I'm going to drag it closer because now we're going to drag some of the commands to my toolbar. So I go to my command tab and then on the left hand side, as you can see under my categories, I can scroll down and I can select the commands that I want to make use of. So I like to work with lines and construction lines a lot. So let's start off with lines. I'm going to go to my caddy lines and then in the sub column, I'm going to decide, okay, lines, I like to work a lot with lines, drag and drop. Same as with construction lines, I can go to carry con line under the commands. Let's say we're going to use parallel, drag and drop. And as you can see, you're not limited to one category for a toolbar. You can combine, you want to create a layout for yourself. And I'm going to show you that you can save it. So you can either share it or you can have a backup for the next installation. So I'm going to say close. And now you will see that as I move my custom menu, I can left click on the First command that says line start, indicate the start point, indicate the next point, and I press escape. The command next is my parallel one. If I left click, that will be construction line parallel. I can give it a distance. I'm going to say OK, and Kari will ask me to click on the correct side. So if I left click on the left hand side, it creates a construction line on the left hand side. If I click on the right hand side, it creates a construction line on the right hand side. And I can press escape. If you find that your custom menu, you would like to personalize it a bit more, in other words, you want to make it bigger and you want to see the text, all you have to do is we go back to the custom option. So we're going to right click, we go back to customize. And in this dialog, we're going to go down to the toolbar, the one that you've just created. And on the right hand side, as you can see, I can change it to text only, pictures only, or text and pictures. As well as you can make it small or large. So I click on small large as you can see because this is now my personal one. I want this one to be bigger. 
so I'm going to keep it like that so I'm going to say close and now you can see right that is my custom menu once again you can dock it or it can be a floating toolbar and now we can save it so if I go to my configure option I go down to my screen layout I can say save screen layout I'm going to get it one I'm going to say OK and for backup purpose or if you want to share it with somebody else you will see that there is an option that you can export the screen layout to a file and then what will happen is on the other PC you can just make use of the import screen layout from file.